Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Mokakwadash, the Ba'anas of the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to Akim upon the testimony of Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. See, we're um, we're competing we're competing for something that the greatest kings of the earth in their height in their greatest stature could only dream about. We're competing. When I say competing, um, we're running. Uh, we're endeavoring to literally. And when I think about when I when you really think about it, is it's almost fictional, but it's not. It's it's, it's as non-fiction as it gets. We're literally competing and endeavoring to be joint heirs with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Wow, indeed. But many are called and few, few are chosen. Will we be chosen? Well, if we're still doing the work at this point, that's a good thing. A lot of people have heard the calling, yet have not adhered and answered the battle cry. And why is that? One my speakers of the world. This world is just a goodness. This is burden. It's a it's a terrible thing with all forms of temptation and distractions. They literally are seeking to separate us from the love of Yahweh Yahusha. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. It says, love not the world. Mm. Now, the world that is not to be loved is the society of the Roman Empire which we currently are living in the revival of. It says, neither the things that are in the world If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And what are the things in the world? Verse 16, it says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, woman, um, material substances, Popularity, acceptance among personnel and people. As that's a lust. It's a lust of the eyes. What this world has to offer, you know, being on that hamster wheel, um, hamster wheel, just keep trying to 
you know, do this and do that. Not saying that you can't, you know, level up in the spirit, you know, uh, 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 not saying the Lord can't bless you, but understand a lot of things is coming our way in the spirit vacuum. are meant to deteriorate us, even if it looks pleasurable. You got to consider the end of the matter when it, when dealing with these things. Right? Because you, you have to consider the end of the matter. Verse 17, pardon me, it says, in the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world, and the world passeth away. This world is going to pass away, so if you, whatever you have in this world, the, the scripture says, Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. And that flesh and blood, I mean, literally, of course, you can't go up there with the heavens and it's coming. But that flesh and blood is representation of sin. All right. Let's see here. Mm. It says, pardon me. It says, verse 17, it says, In the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. If you keep the word, as it says in the book of Revelation, if you keep the word of his patience, he will also keep thee or, per, or preserve thee from the hour of temptation. And that's what we're fighting for. We're fighting that the Lord can lift a standard for us in the time of our sure annihilation. That, that's what we're fighting for. Fighting for the king of the universe on his behalf. What is the excuse to compromise? What is the excuse to fail? I don't see it. I don't have one. We have to get it done. We have to take care of business in the spirit, man. We can't allow any of these circumstances of, of this society to corrupt our willpower and go against our divine nature, our master, our directing mind, man. We can't do that. Let's see here. Let's go to... I believe it's James, the first chapter. Mm, let me see. Believers in James. Uh, 
Damn, I thought that was in James. Let me see. Pardon me. It's kind of more unorthodox to do it from the phone. You can't really see it the way you can see it in the Bible. Hold up. Ooh, oh, this is good right here. This is this is the book of um, Saint James, chapter one, verse six. It says, "But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed." And you don't want to waver. You don't want to fluctuate. You want to be durable. You want to be consistent. All right, and that's in your that's in your good works, your charity. Because I mean, it's cool that we do something today, or we've done something yesterday. But what about tomorrow? You know, if we get if we're doing the right thing yesterday, but do the wrong thing tomorrow, we're going to be judged for tomorrow. So it's an ongoing, you know, mission. Now, of course, in the kingdom, you know, we're going to be at rest. But right now, we're doing, you know, we're making our calling and our election sure. It says, for let that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. That's why it's, that's why it's important, important to have a, a confidence, but not in a vain thing, but an a exerciser of truth. That's the best way for me to put it. And not inconsistent, but consistent. All right. It says, let me see. Perfect. That's actually what I wanted. Let me just keep reading through it. Verse 9, it says, Let the brother of low, de low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. I was typing in leaf. <laughs> the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. So you see how we're in the, the fall season and you had leaves on these maple trees and these different, you know, whatever, these different trees. And now they're falling and they're withering. While the tree is still standing, you understand? While the tree is still standing, which the tree, the tree represents the tree of life, which is the doctrine of Yahusha. But everything else is going to be compromised at the coming of our Lord. So lay not for yourself treasures in heaven. I mean, pardon me, Lord have mercy. I'm going to just finish it off with that one. Good sake. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 19. Lay not upon for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, which is talking about carnal riches and wealth. It says, verse 20, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, which is a heavenly, you know, and that's talking about righteous conduct, by the way, by doing the work. You know, Brownie points to the Lord by having charity and looking out for the Akim, which is reasonable service. Um, it says, it says, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, 
and with thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Wow. I mean, whatever your 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 wealth, your riches, your priority is, that's where your your mind, your spirit is gonna be. And it's the spirit of things that we exercise. You know? We walk in the spirit so we don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. You understand? Lord willing. So then we give our praise and the glory and worship to Yahweh Shemel Shah Shalom.